Pekkas are, are, are for nerds, and people with no friends, and people with no, no real life. And yes, I will answer this question now. That is my cat. Say hello to Maeve. She likes to be here when I record, and I'm finally actually letting her in. Um, <laughs> so my, it's my cat. Now she's on my keyboard. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah, she likes biting her feet or whatever. Anyway, Pekkas are for nerds and people with no friends. But today, I will show you the only Pekka strategy that you can use without being bullied, okay? Mm, this space is going to be interesting because there is no, there's no lava launcher on the first stage. So, how should we take it out? Well, well, what I'm first trying to focus on is making sure I give myself the easiest back end possible. So I think to do that, we're gonna start a battle copter in over here. We're gonna use the cannon cars just to funnel out for the baby dragons. And then now we should be pretty good to just let them sit still. Why don't I use number one just to go a little bit further forward. Now this base is interesting because there is no lava launcher, meaning I'm a little bit scared that this is trapped for cannon carts because that would be the smartest way to trap it. But at the same time, I, I don't think, how do I say this nicely? I don't think they're smart enough to trap for cannon carts in this scenario. Um, so anyway, we're just going to take out pretty much everything there. We have the Battlecopter working onto the Rose Dose. Uses ability, boom, takes out almost everything else that's surviving there. And now with that, all we really have to worry about is just traps and Teslas and all that stuff. Because we do have the two P.E.K.K.A.s that are going to tank for everything. We're going to hope that we can take out one more defense to find any Teslas. There's a Tesla right over there. And now we are looking really solid. So. What you'll notice here is I'm waiting to put down the P.E.K.K.A.s at the last moment possible because they're just there to tank, you know? They're not there to go into the base and take anything out. They're only there to tank for these cannon carts. So if I can take out defenses, ideally I want to take out those defenses. This is like a, a less complicated version of my usual strategy, the three, three cannon carts and everything. It's like an easier version of that because you have something to actually tank for the cannon carts. It's still not necessarily the easiest one. If you saw my video yesterday, that is the easiest cannon cart strategy for you to learn, but this one is pretty close, I would say. It's definitely a step up, but it's not too much more difficult. So what we're going to do is use the cannon carts all, just full send them into the base. What I'm most worried about is this crusher. I think we should be fine, though, maybe. Hopefully, we better be. I will cry if we aren't. Um, because these P.E.K.K.A.s, they will kind of rip through the base a little quickly. Let's so use our first P.E.K.K.A. ability like that. And then take down the air bomb. Second P.E.K.K.A. ability like that. And there we go. It wasn't even close. It wasn't close. It wasn't close. I knew that would work. Trust. All right, second stage. I'm going to show you one different approach you could do on the second stage, which is probably smarter, but I don't like doing it as much. But it's probably easier than Night Witches. Is we're just going to do P.E.K.K.A.s. All right. We're going to send it to the giant like that. Battle Machine and then giant ability. You want to use the giant ability pretty much as soon as he gets inside the base because you want him to tank for as much damage as he can because look, he's going to be taking damage from a lot of buildings but more buildings we take out, the less damage he'll take and he's overall going to survive way longer if we just kind of be gentle with him and you know, not just wait until his ability is automatically popped. So we'll use bomber ability again. It's going to open up everything else and as you see, this was a pretty, pretty easy uh, attack there. So why don't we just go ahead, we'll finish off all the rest of the buildings. Do, I mean, do you see how easy this is? We just kind of sprayed and prayed that second stage, and we got it done quick. We haven't even gotten past a minute yet. This, I think, will be barely over a minute for the second stage, but overall, you can see just how easy this attack strategy is. I, now, I don't know why the, the cannon cart is going through a wall to get to that army camp. I would love for, does he even, like, walk through the wall? Yeah, he does. Okay, you know what? to each their own. That's basically the idea of it, right? It's like two, two, and two. So how do we do this again? Again, we're trying to give ourselves the easiest back end possible. And what would the easiest back end be? Probably not a Mega Tesla, I'll tell you that much. Um, what I think it would be is if we start Battlecopter and take out the Mega Tesla and the Giant Cannon, and Battlecopter hopefully would also take out the Lava Launcher. So. Let's start Battlecopter right here. We're going to use the cannon cards to funnel out for said Battlecopter. Um, and we're going to use one more battle, uh, sorry, cannon card right about there. Uh, I'm just funneling, right? Like the, the cannon cards usage at first is not to survive. It's just like the strategy I showed you yesterday, just with a few more steps. All we really are doing here is making sure we're funneling into the base smartly. And that's all we need to succeed. All right, why don't we start in 
We're not going to use the Baby Dragon ability until it gets onto this double cannon because we want to hit the Mega Tesla more than anything in the world. So there we go. Mega Tesla has been hit. And then we're going to send in this, uh, uh, what's it called, Baby Dragon straight onto this Mega Tesla. We do find a smaller Tesla, which is a little bit disconcerting, but that should hopefully not be the end of the world. Okay, it, it might be like not the end of the world, but definitely not the start of it. That's not what I wanted to see. But I think we do still take down the Lava Launcher, which perfect. Look at that. Lava Launcher goes down. And now we are just putting ourselves in a really nice position here. I shouldn't have moved number one until I had 100% secure that there was uh, uh, the 53%. That way I can know whether or not there are any Teslas. I did not do that very smartly, but luckily I didn't end up paying for it because uh, there was a Tesla. I was able to stop it just in time. Like I saw that Tesla pop and right as I saw it pop, I paused my... Um, my candy cart, which is really, really good. That just takes practice. A lot of you probably may have lost a candy cart there, but that doesn't mean just give up. So as you see, the, the P.E.K.K.A.s here, they're only here for the tanking part of it. I don't really care if they survive to the second stage. It'll be nice to have them in the second stage, but if they don't survive, we saw yesterday that we don't actually need all the P.E.K.K.A.s to live. We use one ability there, second ability there, boom, bang, bow, we have one P.E.K.K.A still alive, another pretty easy attack. Alright, and then the second stage here, what do we do? We don't have that many P.E.K.K.A.s alive. Well, to be honest, I would say, since this uh, strategy, we're calling it more of a uh, intermediate strategy, we're gonna use the Barbarians and the Cannon Cards for the second stage here, just because that's the smarter approach. We find the push traps, that's why we bring the Barbarians, and then now we're gonna take out all of that juice. Let's use another Barbarian right about here. See if we can find any more traps. It looks like we can't find them. I'm sure they're there, but we cannot figure out where. And then we're going to use one last Barbarian just right over there, just testing for traps. Look, we don't know where the traps are going to be. There might not be any traps, but it's better to be safe than sorry, because you can either bring one more cannon cart or guarantee that you'll probably won't lose three cannon carts. And I, I feel like that is a better deal. So always, 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 always bring barbarian stop st don't hate yourself don't don't put yourself through this these trials all right just bring 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 a damn barbarian it's not that big of a deal anyway all that's really left on the base now is just the double cannon so why don't we start in the battle machine from there the pekka from the corner we'll move forward number one how about we move forward number seven and number two we're just trying to just take down the rest of the base here i sent in the battle machine straight at the double cannon because if i sent him from the corner he would have gotten caught up onto a wall and probably died to the double cannon so it's better safe just to just take out the double cannon as soon as possible whatever but as you see we are not really that close we yet again take down the base with flying colors and that's going to be another six star here let's see if we can get one more Ooh, this base is hallow hello hallow hallow is currently the number two player in the world if you don't know that he is also known as blib blob and why don't we go ahead and figure out how to take him out um what do we want to do? We just want to do an extended battle copter push per usual. Where is the easiest back end? I would say taking out all this stuff up top would leave us with the easiest back end. I think what we could do is this. Battle copter starts up here. We're going to funnel out for a baby dragon right about here. And then why don't we start in another funneling spot for a cannon cart right about here, I guess. I don't know. That, that looks nice. So anyway, we're going to start in our Baby Dragon immediately. Baby Dragon's going to get a good amount of value here with the Splash. We do need to worry about that Roaster. We are not going to be taking it down, but that might not be that big of a deal. Um, I would love to take down a little bit more value with number four. Like, I want to get that ability right onto the, um, the Double Cannon, because I feel like that's going to be the best spot for it. Let's unpause number two, take that out, and then now why don't we go send this onto the Double Cannon, I guess. Where's the battle copter going? Okay, battle copter goes a weird direction. That's fine though, because we use that to take down this archer tower. So we're going to use number four just to take down this double cannon like that. And then now we have a really, really nice and easy back end that we have to finish off. It is not that big of a deal. It's not too hard. Hopefully, battle copter goes for mega tesla, which he does. That should nearly take out that archer tower. There we go. And then we can finish off the archer tower just with that cannon cart. Kind of, not really. <laughs> the archer tower. Uh, sorry, the cannon cart decides to go for a barracks instead of the archer tower because of course he would but that might be not that big of a deal um we do that does definitely mess up my plan a little bit because i had to use the pekkas a little bit earlier than i wanted to and this is why i tell you that you should use pekkas as late as possible because we're probably not going to have any pekkas surviving this time but even still it doesn't much matter we are still going to be taking down the base which at the end of the day is what matters most so why don't we just use pekka ability there 
take down that giant cannon so it's not that big of an issue and then boom there goes the mega tesla we do have one pekka alive here so let's get to the second stage all right second stage is pretty pretty basic we see this one quite frequently and of course we are going to be using the barbarians here we know hallow again he's currently the number two player in the world so we know he has some devious traps here set up let's go see there there it is there it is you thought i would fall for that hallow who do you think i am crazy let's go use another cannon cart right there and then lastly, I imagine there's going to be a Tesla action somewhere over here. No? Oh, just the guard post. I forgot about the guard post. That's fine. That's fine. The guard post is not that big of a deal. We're going to use cannon cart like that. That should take out the cannon and the crusher. Beautiful. And now we are in a really good position to take out Hallow. All right, and there we go. And then now we're just going to let the cannon carts work around the base. They don't really need to do much. I don't need much more from them. This is pretty much everything I could ever ask for in, in a attack strategy full let's start in battle machine from this corner and we'll start in the pekka from all the way up top and we're going to use that pekka up top just to tank forward that um that multi-mortar because that's really all that's left on the base that's scary so why don't we do that now cannon carts are going to go straight in for that cannon number seven is going to go straight in for that crusher beautiful beautiful pathing for my cannon carts i'm very very happy with how this attack has gone i'm very happy with how the pekkas have worked and i'm telling you Pekkas, they're bad. They're bad. They're not good. But in this one army strategy, will I ever tell you, okay, you can do that. I won't make fun of you if you use Pekkas there. And now, if you will direct your attention to my camera, you can see something very important. It's my cat. Uh, how do I, why is it? This is my cat. She is asleep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a good rest of the day. And I hope that you can one day find peace, the same type of peace that my cat has here just sitting on my desk doing nothing all day. Have a good rest of the night, guys. I'll see ya.